Turning right now to an I-Team investigation tonight. On Super Bowl Sunday, adults here in Connecticut can place legal bets right on their cell phone. But the I-Team is learning our children can do the same thing, just not with real money. Chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell is uncovering social betting apps. And some are available to children as young as four years old. Experts and families are worried they could condition our children to gamble. Sides, totals, money lines. For some, these terms are common now that sports betting is legal. The app you're looking at is called Wager Lab. It provides many of the wagering options real money sports books offer, but here you can't use real cash. It's for fun. Now, take a look at Omada. It's a colorful, emoji filled app where players bet on money lines using free coins. The goal is to pick the outright winners of sporting events. Both apps have friend lists where players can compete and track their progress against each other. A lot of the, the, the logos, a lot of the stuff that's on it seems to be tailored towards children. Dr. Declan Hill is concerned these apps are trying to hook our kids. The University of New Haven professor has investigated the dark side of gambling and has written books on match fixing and corruption in international sports. This is legal for children over the age of four years old. He's right. When you look on the app store, Omada's age suggestion is four and up. Wager Lab is 17 plus. This is the kind of thing that we saw in the 1980s and 90s where tobacco companies were targeting a younger demographic. Globally, we know that up to 12% of kids between the ages of 10 to 24 will develop a gambling problem. Dr. Melissa Santos is a child psychologist at Connecticut Children's, and she says social betting apps need to be treated seriously. Oftentimes we don't think about talking about gambling with our adolescents because we think about like, well, they're not going to a casino. She says even if they're not wagering real money, the act of placing a bet becomes routine. We are seeing an uptick with kids looking towards it. And oftentimes there are kids that are looking for something to do. They're a little bit impulsive. We put it to the test. With his parents' permission, we had 11-year-old Pablo Eric Acosta check out Omada. Here's what his family found concerning. Pablo's phone has parental okay. controls on it. It alerts his mom if he downloads anything. But none of those security barriers popped up when downloading Omada. Seconds later, Pablo was testing the app wagering fake coins on NBA games. All you have to do is to click a team and that's it. It's going to be a real competition, real wagering amongst them. I don't like it at all. We tracked down the developers of Omada to ask them about their app. I am the one who created the project. Omada is based in France, a country that legalized sports betting 12 years ago. They contend this app is meant to curb problem gambling. To go yeah, in, uh, in uh, different uh, directions that the bookmakers, uh, the, the company which do uh, betting with, uh, with the currency, and uh, because we want to offer a way for young people to have a pleasure and to enjoy sports, but without taking any risk. Omada's creators say they aren't affiliated with any gambling company and never will be. Omada says the average age of a U.S. user is 20, and they understand why parents might be concerned. There's lots of people who say, OK, thanks to you, I, I don't lose any money every month now, and I'm very happy to have you. And some people say, OK, you are educating people to betting, and it's not our, our, our goal. Critics still have doubts. This is a dangerous, troubling, perplexing application. Critics would like to see one aspect of Omada change. Hill says at the beginning of each week, account balances are reset to zero. And as any true gambler knows, in reality, that's not the case. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.